Moving on. Our students, our school, Lehman Coalition for Youth Action Group. Hello. What's the protocol for them coming up? Oh, they can sit right there. Yeah. Sit where they are? <laughs> they can sit where they are. They can come up one at a time. It's Can you hear me okay? I'll try to scream. <laughs> so we can see these. Yep. Okay. Just try to separate. Yes. So these are two of our youth, Raymond Coalition for Youth, Youth Action students. Um, as some of you might know, we have, we had a drug-free community grant that just ended on the last of September and uh, October began Substance Misuse Prevention Month and our office was contacted by the White House because they were familiar with the work that the coalition did here in Raymond and they asked if we would meet with some of their staff they were coming to New Hampshire to kick off the month of, um, to raise awareness and at the time we were told that the First Lady of the United States Melania Trump was coming to meet with them which was very exciting, but then there were some scheduling snafus and she got sick that same day, so we were very lucky that didn't happen. But they got to speak with Director Jim Carroll of the National Office of National Drug Control Policy, and I'll let them talk about that and some of the work that they do with the coalition. Okay. <laughs> um, should we mention first why we're, why we're in it? Yep. Okay, so um, I've been part of, well, my name's Acadia. Gafford, I've been a part of Raymond Collision for Youth since I was in fifth grade, so this will be my fifth year. Um, I started doing it originally because my friend got me to do it, but I stayed in it because I thought that the message was really important in the work that we did in the community, um, had a positive effect on others, and yeah. Uh, I'm Nathan. I've been in the program since seventh grade, so this would be my third year. Uh, I don't. I joined because uh, my mom was a teacher, and when I was little, like we would get this like sad news that some of our kids would have passed away when they were older, and I like didn't like hearing about it. And I knew that me and my friends were in that grade, and we knew that we would grow up early, older, uh, old soon. And I just didn't want that to happen, so I joined with, to like learn about it, and I just like the group, so I just stick with it, stuck with it. Very good. What are some of the things you guys do in Youth Action? Um, well, we set up and kind of organ help organize the Red Ribbon Week and other activities around the school. Um, we help set up and organize the family fun night, which I think is one of the highlights. Uh, we also like research like drug problems and we like visit parts of New Hampshire, it's like that, like see it for ourselves. We don't just like hear about it. We like go and look at the problems and we kind of learn about it and try to like solve problems around here as well. Very good. You guys are awesome. We're very proud of them, obviously for their accomplishments. These are just two of our amazing members here. Um, the school year is off, obviously, to a rocky start with all of the things that are happening. So youth action is a little bit difficult. But we finally found a time this morning. Youth action at the high school is going to be meeting on Wednesday mornings during ram time. Ram, ram time? Ram time? Um, so we're excited to be moving forward with that. And do you have any questions for them? I belong to the coalition. and. So I hear about more than just this that you've done. And I've been very impressed to hear that the youth group kept meeting remotely all through this COVID that we've been going through. And while you weren't in school, you were still meeting. And I also heard that you kids were the ones who asked to keep meeting. And I think that's very, very I was very impressed and I still am. So. And mom, it's nice to get blamed for something good. <laughs> 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 when you your movie too, you didn't mention your movie yeah, stars. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, yeah. Ma we made a film on the dangers of vaping and previous to that we also made a film on the misuse of prescription drugs. And at the Granite State, what was it called? The film Gran Granite State Film and Festival. We showed them at the State Granite film State Festival. Film we got Festival. to actually screen it at O'Neill Cinema is an epic, and like a big group of people went, and then they called us down, and we got to like talk about it. It was like one of those like 
actors showing up surprisingly at a film. Because <laughs> you're cool. just as important, right? If not more important. I'm a star. <laughs> I think it's amazing that you're, you know, really showcasing the community of Raymond across the state and even as far as, you know, the White House because, I, you know, it's all kids like you and people like Celeste and just folks from across the community that make um, Raymond be kind of a role model in, the re in this respect for how if you work together you can really make a difference in your own community. So I re I'm really proud of you guys and thank you for doing that. Thank you. And then the First Lady of the United States did tweet about them even though she didn't get to see them. She, she sent out a thing on Twitter and she mentioned the Raymond Coalition for Youth and their picture was in it. So that was pretty exciting also. Yeah. They've gotten a lot of recognition for the work that they've done. Definitely well deserved. We're very proud of them. Yeah. Ooh. And the coins, they give you the coins from the White House. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't do it for recognition, but it's very nice to get recognized. Do you have in your yeah. back pocket? And just while Nathan's looking for his coin, if, um, Acadia mentioned Red Ribbon Week. That's actually starting on Friday. Uh, school, working with the school to do a lot of activities around that. Uh, want me to bring it up there? You can't hand it to them if you want to show it to them, though. Uh, find <laughs> an object. <laughs> point it away. A coin from the White House. How long are your arms? <laughs> That's really awesome. Huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> so I know you guys one. get couldn't That's do the gala really cool. last year, who knows about this year. And I know this is about the time you do, you usually do your summit. Are you doing something online for your summit? Our summit was supposed to be Friday. Our, we do an annual prevention summit that's a pretty big deal. You know, we track Candy Woods Golf Course, and it's obviously canceled right now. Um, and we have not decided to do something online because we figure everybody is Zoomed out online. So, but something small, short might come up. We haven't decided yet. But thank you. And we have our um, medication take back <coughs> event is on Saturday at Walgreens from 10 to 2. If you know anybody who needs to get rid of any old or expired medications, we'll be there. Are you doing that twice a year now? We do do it twice a year, but April got canceled because of COVID. So we don't know if people have extra medication to get rid of, but we're expecting it to be a big event because the police department has been closed also, the box that we have there. On my way into our oil and gas um, actually was advertising that and I was like wow that's really good that you know they're helping us yeah. get the word out about that I thought that was really great yeah we we're very excited they not they told us today that they're gonna put that on their sign so yep. we're very grateful to them too it's a community effort we're all in it together <laughs> very good thank okay. you very much you thank guys. you very awesome much job and hopefully things get back to somewhat normal so you guys can yes. Oh, yes, for everybody, right? Thank you so much, and thanks for yes. coming tonight, too. Thank you.